It's my pleasure to congratulate my good friend Kay Hodge on being the 2023 Father Drynan Award recipient. Kay is fearless in her ability to push the envelope and create real change. Everything you do has been to uplift the profession and our society. If she puts her mind and efforts to getting something done, it will be done. Your dedication to opening doors for so many of us is, I think, your lasting legacy. She's left the ladder down for those of us who are following her lead. And you've shown them how to make their voices heard, by example, because nobody ignores k -Hot. You exemplify the qualities that this award is meant to recognize. It is a pleasure and privilege to know you, Kay. Congratulations on an award well-deserved. Congratulations on receiving the Father Drynan Award. Your service to the ABA and to the legal profession, whether it's as a past chair of uh, CRSJ or in your many other leadership roles, has been so inspiring. Everything you do has been to uplift the profession and our society. And I can't think of anyone who's more deserving to receive this award. Congratulations, my friend. There is a certain inevitability about my longtime friend, Kay Hodge, which is to say that if she puts her mind and efforts to getting something done, it will be done. And fortunately for all of us, her efforts have been so heavily concentrated in the areas of equality and civil justice. No doubt many tonight have told you about Kay's magnificent resume and tremendous accomplishments. Let me just add one thing. Kay is that unique type of leader who does not operate on the basis of finesse or maneuvering. Rather, Kay does the prep work necessary. She states her position clearly. She states it passionately and she has right and justice on her side. All of these attributes make her extremely worthy of the Father Drynan Award. Kay Bob would be proud of you. May you go from success to success. Hello, I'm Amy Lynn Meyerson, a member of the ABA Board of Governors, a past chair of DP Solo, and a past Napapa president. I am so pleased to participate in the celebration of Kay Hodge in recognition of not only her exceptional achievements, but also for all she has done and continues to do for the legal profession in our community. She's left the ladder down for those of us who are following her lead. Kay, I am very grateful to be just one of the fortunate individuals to enjoy your friendship, generosity, and mentorship. You truly epitomize the ideals of the legal profession and the passion for the protection of human rights and civil liberties and championing social justice. Congratulations, Kay. Hi, Kay. It's Beth Wittenbury, immediate past chair of the Civil Rights and Social Justice section. And I'm just so happy to have this opportunity to thank you for all you've done on behalf of our section. I remember when we first met, I was serving as a representative of the American Bar Foundation to the AEFC Pension Committee that you were chairing. And that was the first time that I had met you or worked with you. And I just remember being just so impressed with your leadership abilities, how you just did everything to make everything we needed to do on that committee work so well and come together. So I, ever since then, when our paths have crossed as they have so often in our work with the ABA, it's always been my joy and pleasure to be able to work with you in whatever capacity we find ourselves in. And I remember that you have done such amazing work representing our section, not just as a past chair yourself, but also as a representative to Rowley for the last several years. And also, of course, you won the much deserved Spirit of Excellence Award. So in my opinion, it is high time that you were bestowed with the Father Drynan Award as you are being tonight. And so I'm just so happy to be able to help you celebrate and share that joy with you today. So enjoy, have fun, and 
best wishes. Okay, congratulations on winning the Father Drennan Award. Much deserved. We are honored to have you amongst the awardees. Congratulations, and I look forward to seeing you in mid-year. I am Mary Smith, President-Elect of the American Bar Association, and I'm here to congratulate my friend Kay Hodge on receiving the Father Drennan Award. Dedicated attorney, passionate advocate, fearless leader, mother, wife, friend, colleague. Kay is all of these things, but her most pervasive trait is her ability to make a difference in whatever she does. Throughout her career, Kay has always tried to make the road for the people behind her to be easier and better. I have seen Kay's leadership firsthand through our shared activities in the American Bar Association. Kay constantly advocates for diversity, equity, and inclusion. And sometimes, okay, maybe more than sometimes, in advocating for these issues, you have to push the envelope. And Kay is fearless in her ability to push the envelope and create real change. She is an original thinker with the ability to think outside the box. That is her superpower. Some of my most cherished memories of ABA meetings are sitting in the lobby bar with Kay, talking about the issues facing the profession, the ABA, and the world. Kay is very insightful and thoughtful in her observations. I always felt better about the world after my time with Kay. Last year, when she received the ABA Spirit of Excellence Award, Kay was asked what advice she would give her younger self. And Kay said, all in all, my advice is simple. Get involved and appreciate the people you meet along the way. Well, Kay, I appreciate you. We all appreciate you. And congratulations again, my friend. Thank you. It's my pleasure to congratulate my good friend, Kay Hodge, on being the 2023 Father Drynan Award recipient. Both Kay and Father Drynan hail from Boston, and that's not the only similarity. Kay embodies the essence of the Drynan Award. She has devoted her life to public service and to servant leadership. Kay's dedication and commitment to the legal profession is unwavering and she's made a difference in the lives of so many people. Congratulations, Kay, on this well-deserved honor. Hi, Kay, congratulations. I know you received the Spirit of Excellence Award and Boston University School of Law's Silver Shingle Award, really a lot of well-deserved awards. But the Father Drynan Award is special because it recognizes your dedication to civil rights, social justice, and the rule of law. CRSJ and I are proud to claim you as a matriarch of our family because you've never left CRSJ. You've been a mentor to me and so many others. You've inspired women to think critically about equity, to recognize opportunities to make the world a more just place, and you've shown them how to make their voices heard by example because nobody ignores K. Hodge. Since you served as chair, you've kept us connected to all of the ABA entities you lead. You once told me you were a bar junkie. Well, let me tell you, CRSJ and the ABA are K. Hodge junkies. Thanks for all you do for CRSJ and the legal profession. Congratulations. K. Hodge, from our days over 25 years ago, of service on the Board of Governors of the American Bar Association. When the two of us were members of the first ever class to go in the board that was majority women in persons of color, to our time in service to the American Bar Foundation on its board, it has become more than apparent why you would received the Bob Geronin Award. I had the privilege of knowing Bob and of standing in awe in his presence. So it makes perfect sense that you are the next Bob Geronin Awardee. Congratulations. Thank you for all you've done for the American Bar Association for the profession, 
and for all those whom we care about. It is a pleasure and privilege to know you, Kay, and call you friend. Thank you. Hello, Kay. Mark Agrast here. I'm delighted to congratulate you on receiving the 2023 Robert F. Drynan Award. As a section officer, I worked with our mutual friend, Mike Greco, to establish this award in 2001, and I was proud to be in attendance when Mike presented the first award to Father Drynan himself. Since then, it has been conferred on 21 past leaders of the section for their sustained commitment to its mission of protecting and advancing human rights, civil liberties, and social justice. You have demonstrated that commitment in myriad ways, both as a chair and officer of the section, and as a leader within the ABA as a whole. As a past chair of the section and a Drynan Award recipient myself, I know that Bob would have been gratified to see his fellow Bay Stater receive this award. Congratulations, Kay. This is Paul Igasaki. Congratulations to Kay Hodge, this year's recipient of our section's Robert Drynan Award. Kay has well earned this recognition. She has served this section, our profession, and the cause of civil rights throughout her career. Her work in the ABA, her state and local bars, her firm, and on behalf of her many clients have given her unique effectiveness on our behalf. When she entered the profession, there were few Asian Americans and especially Asian women in our profession's leadership. While we are doing better now, in no small part because of Kay's efforts, her model is as important as ever. As an Asian American woman, she continues to make me proud. Congratulations, Kay. Kay, I cannot imagine a more deserving recipient for the Robert F. Drynan Award than you. You embody the same sustained and extraordinary commitment to the ABA generally and to the section of civil rights and social justice specifically, as the award's namesake. For more years than I care to count, I have watched in admiration as you steadfastly advocate for human rights, civil liberties, and social justice, anywhere and everywhere you see it needed. I see you doing this as an individual, but also as someone who encourages and supports the work of others, particularly through the work of the section. Moreover, I have watched you do this with no thought or consideration for awards, or recognition, or ego aggrandizement, but simply because you follow your moral compass. You never shirk saying or doing what you know to be right. And as I've told you before privately, but will happily say again publicly, meeting and working with you is something I count as a real high point for my time at the ABA. You are the kind of person who attracts others to the ABA because of the things for which you stand and the kind of person that you are. Congratulations on this very well-deserved honor. Congratulations, Kay. The Father Drynan Award is especially meaningful to me because I grew up in Father Drynan's congressional district. He was my congressman, and he inspired me to make a lifelong commitment to civil and human rights. And you, Kay, are the ideal choice for this award because you have also inspired my commitment to civil and human rights. Your dedication to opening doors for so many of us is, I think, your lasting legacy. When I ran for a minority at large seat on the Board of Governors some years ago, you took me under your wings and served as campaign manager in my successful campaign. Over the years, you've mentored me, introduced me to the right people, and with your encouragement, I served on the Commission on Racial and Ethnic Diversity, the Commission on Women, and the Commission on Sexual Orientation and Gender Identity. So congratulations, Kay, for this much, much deserved recognition. And thank you for all you have done and are doing to advance civil and human rights. You, Kay, are a superhero. Kay, congratulations for this well-deserved honor. There is nobody whose judgment and integrity I respect more your commitment to the values and the objectives of the section and the ABA is truly extraordinary. You exemplify the qualities that this award 
is meant to recognize. Father Drynan would be proud that the award is going to you. Congratulations again. Congratulations, Kay. As a member of the Massachusetts delegation, I very much appreciate the great honor of receiving an award named after Father Drynan. Thank you for all you do for the bar, for the community, and your personal support. Congratulations again. Hey, congratulations on winning the 2023 Father Drynan Award. As the current chair of the Commission on Racial and Ethnic Diversity in the Profession, I wanna thank you for your past service to the commission and your ongoing work in the area of civil rights and social justice. Your work is prolific and we thank you for your continued service. Congratulations on an award well-deserved. Congratulations, Kay!